Here's what happened round 12 of the FIA Motocross World Championship, the MXGP of Indonesia at Samota, Sambawa. MX2 race one. And it was Tom Vial who grabbed his ninth hole shot of the season, the ninth Fox hole shot of the season. He was closely followed by the 74 of Kai De Wolf, who did not go out in the morning warm up due to being sick on the evening. He was hanging on to second position until he folded the front. Yago Kitsch went by into second place. De Wolf remounted in third. A little bit further down the order, and later on in the race, De Wolf then got into a tangle with Kevin Horgmo whilst fighting over third place. De Wolf would fall again. He would eventually come home in eighth place after a scary moment over this jump whilst being chased by Andrea Adamo. Adamo would eventually go through a couple of corners later and come home in seventh. Kai De Wolf would be eighth place. Uphill, though, for the final time, Tom Vial was victorious in race one for the 11th time this year. Kiet second, Langenfelder third, Beniston and Horgmo, your top five. <laughs> MX2 race two, and this time it was Simon Langenfelder who crossed the black line for his sixth foxhole shot of the season. They charged downhill, but it wasn't long before Vial was into the lead as early as turn two. Langenfelder was there in second, Adamo well placed in third, and then we had Horgmo and Hirtz. But then Horgmo made a mistake, took Hirtz with him. Those two would be down at the first couple of corners. And despite a broken clutch lever, Kevin Horgmo would continue for seven as Mikkel Harp went out from six on lap three with a technical problem. Yago Hitz fell whilst chasing down Kai Carsmakers in fifth place. Vial lost the lead when he went off track as well, handing the advantage to Langenfelder. Hitz would fall again a couple of laps later, but hold on to that sixth place. Then Langenfelder threw away the lead on lap nine. That handed the advantage to Tom Vial. And then Andrea Adamo outbraked himself. That allowed Beniston through into third. That got him on the podium at the expense of his teammate, Yago Kiet, who was circulating in fifth. Tom Vial crossed the line to win. It was a double race win for the Frenchman, his 12th race win of the season. Second was Langenfelder, Beniston, Adamo and Kiet, your top five. And the overall classification belonged to Tom Vial. Two wins out of two. Langenfelder on the podium once again with a third and a second. And Beniston for the third straight round with a fourth and a third. But... Vial now leads the championship by four points over Hirt and Langenfelder is third. Hirt's held the red plate coming into round 12. But that's how it finished up in Indonesia. Tom Vial on the top step of the podium and the new championship leader as we head to round 13. That's true, I didn't remember, but I had a scratchy moment. I went off the track and, and lucky I hit one, one guy off the track. I hope he's okay. So I was quite lucky with this one, but I, I managed to control good after the race. Simon had a crash and I took the lead. Two motor victory here, you know, with the jet lag is quite difficult, so I'm happy to win. MXGP race one and just to the right of the box, Ben Watson went too early, hit the gate and it was Tim Geiser who crossed the Fox hole shot line for the fourth time this season. Closely followed by Jorge Prado at the bottom of the hill, Ruben Fernandez, Glenn Koldenoff was in there as well as they emerge from turn two uphill. And Roman Fever in there, in fifth place. He was behind Paul Jonas. Jonas eventually fell from fifth because he'd passed, it, he'd passed uh, Paul Jonas. Jonas then went after Jed Beaton. And uh, he was on a charge as well. And then further down the order, the 10 of Kevin Vlaren got the better of Beaton as well to move into uh, eighth place, Koldenhoff and Fevre did battle over fourth. The Hoff hanging on though, despite the hard charging efforts from Roman Fevre. Tim Geiser was on another planet in race one as he kept Prado at bay for now. <laughs> MXGP race two. This time, Roman Fevre thought he had the better of Tim Geiser, but it was Prado who kept the gas on around the outside across the Fox hole shot line for the 12th time this season. Roman Fevre was there in second, Fernandez third. 
Geiser on the inside in fourth position, then into third. He thought he got Fevre for second, but as they dropped down the first hill, he was already in fourth place. He quickly got by Fernandez for third. He then went after Fevre for second the following lap. This was only lap two. And then on lap three, around the outside, an audacious move by Geiser to take the lead from Prado. Jeremy Seward, also sick overnight, found his way past Calvin Vallona and those two back and forth for a few laps before Siwa made ninth place his own. And then bottom left corner, Paul Jonas was in fifth place. He lost a couple of positions as uh, the back end came around. Evans and Koldenoff went through. Evans came home fifth, Koldenoff sixth. But in the later stages of the race, Prado's second position was under threat from Roman Fevre. If Fevre could find a way past Prado, he would be on the podium. Instead, Tim Geiser was victorious in the race. Prado crossed the line second, Fevre third, Fernandez fourth, and Evans fifth. Two wins out of two on the day for Tim Geiser. His eighth Grand Prix win of the season, his fourth double moto win as well. Prado second with two seconds. Fernandez on the podium for the second time this year in his rookie season with a third and a fourth. And Geiser extends his lead from 101 to 125 points now over Prado, who moves up to second. Siwa drops to third. The gap between those two is just five points. And for Tim Geiser, his third win in Indonesia, of course, he is the championship leader, heading to round 13. First moto, I took a whole shot, and uh, the race was almost perfect. Uh, but second one, I have to work for it. You know, I didn't have a whole shot. I start around fourth, but then I make some nice passes and came in the lead, make a comfortable lead, and uh, control the race until the end. So I'm super happy.